What's up guys, this is iTweaks here with iPhoneHacks.com and today I'm going to be showing you OXO2 for the iPad. So if you're a big fan of OXO2 on the iPhone, then you're probably going to enjoy it on the iPad. So if you actually bought OXO2 on the iPhone, then this is a free upgrade. So go ahead and take advantage of that if that applies to you. So let's go ahead and start walking through OXO2. You can see here if we pull up, we bring up the multi-center. So we have our app switcher right up here as well as the control center right down here. So this already looks a whole lot better to me on the iPad than it does on the iPhone just because you have the entire control center right down here uniformly not split up like it is on the iPad like at the bottom and at the top with the app switcher right in the middle this just looks a whole lot more native iOS to me and a whole lot more simple whole lot less cluttered and I like that a lot you also see over here that I have polis installed so if you want to check that out you can do so you swipe through here you can actually add specific glyphs you want to to specific applications and these are just quick launch buttons that you can tap on and I haven't actually set all the glyphs so you can see that some of those don't have glyphs and some of them are actually duplicates but you can see right here if we swipe up on the springboard just like that then that's going to allow you to close all your applications just like you could on the iPhone now this is a little bit glitchy and I've had some issues with it respringing just by swiping up on the springboard so just keep that in mind you also have the ability to pull down the application to bring it forward just like that really simple it actually looks really nice I like that little gesture and the app switcher is still exactly the same as you can see right here now another really cool thing about OXO2 is the quick switcher so you can see right here if we pull up on the bottom left hand corner you can see our quick switcher which is going to allow us to swipe through all of our apps that are open in the background just like that so that's actually really cool it's probably one of my favorite features the only thing that I would say that I don't like too much about it is a little clunky I wish it was a little bit smoother but other than that I mean this is an awesome feature now on the other hot corner if we pull up another application let's say we just wanted to open up uh, the calculator right here now if we swipe up on the bottom right hand corner you can see that it's actually going to close out of the application just like that you can bring it back or you can just go ahead and close it and it goes directly to the springboard now that application wasn't killed from the background running apps it just actually closed it and went directly to the springboard so you can see right here if we bring up the multi center there is the calculator still right there but let's go ahead and go into our settings here and I'm going to show you everything that we have to toggle on and off first of all we have the multi center so you can toggle that on or off right there you can also toggle on or off the quick switcher as well as your hot corners now right here we have our advanced options so there's a few options here not as much as you would see in the iPhone advanced options menu but really you don't need them so right up here we have open to last app so basically what that does if we toggle that on it's going to obviously open up to the last application if we pull up our switcher right there so you can see it goes right back to the uh, calculator you also have invert hot corners now if you toggle this on you can see instead of it closing the application if we swipe up from the bottom right it actually brings up the multi center and what this does is actually completely disable quick switcher which is pretty much a huge bummer now you can see right here if we swipe up from the middle it's still going to bring up the multi center and if we swipe up from the left hand side it's actually going to close the application right there so there's no more quick switcher if you invert the hot corners now you can also disable OXO2 in applications if you want to do that just scroll through your applications here and toggle them on you can also disable OXO2 when the keyboard is present on the screen just by hitting that toggle but that's pretty much it with OXO2. I highly recommend checking this out, especially if you already purchased this for your iPhone, just because this is a free download if you already did that. So let me know what you guys think about OXO2 for the iPad in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. And if you want to see more of my videos, then don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. All right, guys, until next time, this is iTweaks with iPhoneHacks.com.